Hey everyone, welcome back to the Pokemon Casino. Happy Friday. We got our first ever mystery pack opening today. So I got these packs from our local store. They had 200 pulls and I'll show you what some of the main hits are from this pull game that they had here. Each pull costs $20. And here's basically a sermon of cards you can get. I think the top pull is this Marnie card. This Marnie card is from the Sword and Shield base set, Shield Box. And if you watch my latest video, you'd know this one is going for around $900 for the raw copy. So this is definitely, I think, the top hit that we can pull here. PSA 10 copy, if you can get it, I think that's around $1,800. So from a $20 pull to that, you're basically hitting the jackpot. Next up, we also got another Marnie card, and this is from the Shiny Star V. Raw one's around 200, PSA 10, $450. So the PSA 10 is the one that we want to be able to get. Next up, we also have the Pikachu Stamp Box Collection, which you know I'm a major fan of. This one was released in 2021. And I think this PSA 10 is $400. And if you can see for the packaging, it's actually sealed. So there's the creme rent in the background as well or behind this card. And that PSA 10 is around 200, I would think. Uh, you can also get Candice uh, from the latest sets uh, as well. Uh, so that one's a nice one. If you can pull this one instead of the Lugia, that's not bad. That Candice, I think is around 150 to $200 raw. So 10 times basically the pull value. So a lot of juicy cards here. There's a lot of other assorted cards. You can get all these gold cards, um, all these sort of trainers, but there's also a lot of duds as well um, that are definitely not worth $20. So let's get into this. But before we start, remember, if you aren't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button, click that like, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this. It's not a typical box opening that I do. Um, so I thought this would be a bit more fun. I've never done this before. Uh, so I wanted to sort of try it out and see our luck and see if we can actually profit from this. Maybe see how our RNG is and see how we can do. Maybe we do better than a typical booster box by playing these types of games. So let's dig right into it. You got this super cute uh, Pika as well over here and then you got the hangry morpeko it's a really cute uh really cute card holders or sleeves so you can see that so it's basically like that and let's see what we pull from here let's see what it is oh i think this is a trainer from from the looks of it it's a trainer card it is a trainer card what is it going to be? We want, we want that, what, we want that Marnie? What the, oh, oh my God, this is one. <laughs> this is, this is not the way we want to start this off. <laughs> but, but I guess that's the way it is, right? Um, when I said there are some duds, this is absolutely a major dud. <laughs> that is the opposite of a Marty card basically <laughs> that we can get. Uh, so that's the first one. We have a total of 20 here. So around $400 uh, for these pulls. Oh my God, that is not what we wanted to see. But here we go, we got another gold border. Let's see if it is a trainer card. Nope, it's not a trainer card. So what is it? It could be a full art. Oh no, it's a trainer, it's a trainer. So that's the other card over there. It's a trainer. Come on, Marnie. Come on, Marnie. Oh, we got Pokeball guy. The Pokeheads. So this one is a bit better. I actually don't have this one as well. It's this from Shiny Star VS4A. So this is not bad. And I, let's just check out the quality as well uh, of the card. It seems to be in decent condition. Uh, I don't think this is worth like getting graded, but it could look nice in the binder, I think. It could does definitely look nice in the binder, so let's keep that over there. Then we can go into number three. Come on, let's bring us some heat. Let's bring us some heat. Let's see what we can get. Oh man! Oh, we got a gold. We got a gold. Is this is this one of the? 
Oh, we got a gold, a gold Mew, I think, from, from that, from uh, what we can pull would be really exciting uh, for me. I think that's the sort of one that I would want. And uh, I think that one is definitely above uh, $20. So let's see. Mm, what is it? 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 Yeah! We got the gold Mew! That's the one I wanted! This is from uh, the Celebrations 88, uh, S8A. This is great card, I think, to get graded as well. Uh, just checking out the condition of the card. And I don't see anything on the front facing of it. Uh, let's see the back. Don't see anything on the back as well. So thank you very much, Glaceon. I'm gonna move you aside. So let's put that one here. We have to put that in a sleeve as well. I just love this Mew because it's, uh, it's a shiny Mew as well. So I have the entire Celebrations Master Set, but I wanted, didn't want to break it up uh, to, to get things graded. So this is great that I have this one. And this has probably been a bit better quality. But on to the next. I think that's only, what, our third one uh, that we have here. Or no, fourth one, fourth one. What was, what was the other one? So we have one, we have one, two, three. That's our fourth? One, two, three, four. Where's my other hit? that I would have gotten. Am I, am I going crazy, guys? Oh no, oh, I just opened it fast one. So no, this is a threat. I'm, I'm losing it, guys, I'm losing it. I'm just too excited, <laughs> too excited, because I'm excited to get Marnie, I think. I'm mean, really excited to get Marnie. What is this? What is, I don't, what? It's, ah, oh, it's an S-A-R. This is an S-A-R from V-Star Universe. Katarine VMAX, uh, not really worth anything, I think. It's, uh, these have really gone down in price. Um, so I do not think this is $20 anymore. I think it's like probably, what, 10 to 15, if anything. Uh, I, but obviously you can see the price on the screen because I'm basically doing a, a check of what basically the value we're pulling is versus our cost. So let's continue going up here and seeing how our luck treats us. This is pretty exciting, actually. I think I quite enjoy this. Oh, you can see it's a bit damaged, I think. Hopefully, is that the pull card? That is the pull card, isn't it? Yep, so it's a bit damaged. Uh, definitely not a grading one, so hopefully not too valuable. Hopefully not too valuable. Oh, it's a GX car! So that, but old, that's an old age here. Let's see what it is. Whoa! SM11B, to be frank, I do not know anything from the Sun and Moon era, but you'll see this value on the screen. I don't even know if this is good or not, um, but it looks like it has pretty good centering. And typically like these borders, it's a bit difficult to have those borders, I guess, but you can see there's that ding in the top over there. Uh, pretty big ding as well. So we'll put that one aside and we'll be careful with it uh, until I basically figure out the value of that card, Sun and Moon. Uh, I just basically started in um, Sword and Shield era, so I'm just really clueless about uh, any of those other cards. But I think this is a trainer card, so we're gonna go for Marnie. This, I really want Marnie. It is a trainer. Marnie, I don't wanna see a guy. I don't wanna see a guy. I see a guy. And this is from Sun and Moon era again. But I'm basically pretty sure it's not worth anything because no guys are worth anything. <laughs> I think it's uh, pretty safe to say. Guy cards, uh, guy Japanese cards, are just not really, uh, there's not really much value in them. Uh, unfortunately, this is how the way it is. The only ones that really matter are waifu cards. So let's get some more waifus. And by waifu, I mean Marnie because she is the most popular one for people to want. Uh, she has the most collectible value too, so hopefully I can gain from this game. This is uh, my first time ever doing anything like this, so uh, let me know if you guys like this. It's, it's exciting. Uh, what can I improve if you think, uh, if there's anything? So we got a trainer. This could be Marnie. This could be Marnie. It is absolutely not Marnie. This is from S12, Incandescent Arcana. Uh, which I have, oh no, Paradigm Trigger, sorry. Uh, which I actually pulled myself. Uh, this one looks like it's in pretty good condition, but it's gonna go with the rest of the male trainers in that pile of, please, I don't wanna see any more of you guys. 
Uh, we just want to see some ladies because uh, we want to take care of them. We want to be excited to see them and hang out with them. And so this one, let it be ladies. Let's see what we're going to get. It is a V-Star. What? Oh no, I lied. It's over here. That was just the bottom card. Oh, we got Arita. We got Arita Rainbow. So this is not bad, I think. I think this is definitely over uh, $20 in value. And this is a, I think, the, or like the full art Arita is definitely worth more. But Arita uh, Rainbow, I think Arita is going to be more and more popular as well, especially with the reaction everyone had from the most recent VSTAR Universe set. So let me move some stuff here so I can put the card down so we don't damage it. Uh, and then we can continue going on with the pull game. So not too bad. Not too bad, I think, pulling that one. We would like to see more Arita or Marnie or is there, I don't think there was any uh, Serena because I think Serena is actually a really sought after uh, trainer as well. Uh, but that one's really expensive, but let's see what we're going to be getting. It is a Pokemon. It's an SAR, isn't it? It's an SAR. Oh no, it's a Mimikyu from S5i. I believe this is Matchless Fighters. Was it from Matchless Fighters? This Mimikyu is super cute. Um, I do not have this Mimikyu and I'm a, I am love all full art. So you know what? I am not too disappointed about having this one. Uh, Mimikyu is obviously a very favorite Pokemon uh, just because it's, it's so goofy looking and it's so goofy in what it does trying to pretend to be Pikachu. My wife loves Mimikyu as well because she thinks it's uh, super funny that it pretends to be Pika. So yeah, let's keep it in here. So not too bad. We got about like still halfway to go. Uh, let's see what else we can be pulling from these cards. Oh, this one has, feels like it's a thick one. What does that mean? Thick cards, don't want to scratch them. We got, ooh, what is this? What is this? Dragon? What is this? We're a Quaza! Not bad. I, you know I love Rayquaza. I think the one I graded was only a PSA 9, so if this is PSA 10 quality, that'd be great. I would absolutely get this graded and sell off my uh, PSA 9 copy. Oh wow, it actually looks pretty decent. Wow, that's great. I'm gonna replace you, Mimikyu. Sorry, I'm gonna put that one over here uh, and be very careful with it so that it can get that PSA 10 grade uh, when I do submit it. So that that is fantastic. Uh, I love Rayquaza, as you all know, if you're, if you're uh, if you're a new viewer, Rayquaza is like one of my favorite Pokemon. So that's a great pull, I think. That that's over twenty dollars. I'm I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I maybe double it. So let's continue on. I think we're doing pretty good, actually, guys. I think we're doing pretty good. We could do better with that Marnie that just blow things out of the water, or that PSA ten Marnie. What are we gonna get? Are we gonna get Marnie? Oh my God! Ew. We don't want to see you, Professor's Research. Uh, this is the 25th celebration one. This basically, you're going to be pulling this card or you're going to be pulling the Mew. And of course you want the Mew because anything else that you pull out of that celebrations box is just not worth anything. So we're going to put that along in the dud pile um, with the rest of the male trainer cards. <laughs> uh, sorry, Professor. That's just how it is. Uh, but let's continue going. So we got this way. We're going to flip through. And let's see what we're going to get. Ooh, it's a... What is this? It's a Pokemon for sure. Let's see what Pokemon it is. V-Star. Oh, it's another SAR from V-Star Universe. So this one I think is not too valuable anymore anyways. Um, none of these SARs I think are really too valuable unless it's like Charizard or the Mewtwo uh, or like the Arita or Alessa Sparkle. Though no, Alessa Sparkle I think is just an SR actually now that I think about it. So let's just go in with the next one. We have the full entire master set of it. So not too excited about the SARs, but definitely at least hopefully get my money back or some of it back. So let's continue pulling. We got another GX card. So this is probably from Sun and Moon era, I guess. But what is this? What is this? Giratina full art. Not bad. Not bad at all. So we got this Giratina. Oh, just wait, there's Garchomp here. Uh, I, 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 I totally missed that there was Garchomp as well here because I think just the angle of lighting. Oh, this is a sweet one. So this must be from like, what, Tag Team? 
the tag team, I think. So this is a pretty nice car. Uh, it looks like it's in pretty, oh, actually no, the top bottom is pretty off as you can see for centering, but this would look good in my binder or to sell it. Oh, there's a white mark over here too. So probably not too valuable just because it's sort of damaged, uh, but that's not gonna stop us from continuing on. Let's continue going and see what we got. So like I said, we got 20 pulls here, uh, each one like $20, just a bit over. Uh, but let's see what we can get. We want that Marnie, really. We really want that Marnie. This looks like a full art. Is it a full art card? It is a full art card from S9A. I think this was a Battle Region, maybe. Uh, Typhlosion. This was like a dud of a set, and this full art is also sort of a, a dud of a card as well. Uh, not, not really valuable. I don't think there's much demand, if any, for it. But hey, it's going to go into my full art binder with all the rest of them. Uh, so I don't think I had that one. I don't think I've opened it myself. So that's lucky. Luckily, I still don't have a lot of these cards. Uh, so they will have a nice place in the binder. Uh, unless I decide to sort of liquidate them to continue funding the hobby. Okay, we got another full art. What is this one? Oh. It's a S10P. I forget which set S10P is. But again, we got another full art. So that's another one that I do not have. Hisuyan. I think this is a Hisuyan. So not too fussed about these ones. But we can still do well. We still got about a few more left to go through. And I'm actually having quite a bit of fun. Uh, a bit more fun than... Uh, opening up all those boxes all the time. I love opening up boxes, don't get me wrong. I love ripping packs open. But this is like, you know, changes it up a little bit. It's a new, oh, this is interesting. This is a GX card. So what is this GX? Is, is this tag team? Uh, I know a lot of cards in tag team are pretty valuable. Uh, I'm pretty sure they are, unless it's a full art Altaria. <laughs> so, uh, yep. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they are valuable, uh, probably not this card, but we'll put that one aside and continue going on and hoping for that Marnie card. We really want that Marnie card to come out uh, so that we really come out on top and blow this out of the water. Oh, I think we got a trainer. So this is a Marnie opportunity with the silver border. Yeah, it's a trainer. Come on, Marnie. Come on, Marnie. Come on, Mar... Nah, this is nothing like Marnie. You belong in the pile with the rest of the male trainers. We do not want that pile to grow, as I said. <laughs> um, but yeah, so which one, which card do you think is the best one I've got so far? I think it's probably like the Mew uh, that I really enjoy or the Rainbow Arita. Uh, so those are the ones I think I'm enjoying the most. Uh, but I really want that Marnie. I'm hoping I'm gonna continue going down this. And what is this going to be? It's another full art, it looks like. I think it's a full art. Oh! Whoa! From Shield! We got Zamazenta full art! This is not bad. Um, this is one of the more valuable cards from there. Obviously, that Marnie card is the most valuable. But this one looks like it's in pretty good shape as well. Uh, in terms of condition and quality. So, I'm going to be more careful with this one. Ah, this one, this one looks really nice. This is a really nice looking one. So we got like two more pulls. So two more chances at Marnie. Uh, Marnie is one that I really, really want to add to my set. I have all the other Marnies from the Starter 100 deck that I bought. And I also have one from the Shiny Star V already. So raw, and I'm waiting for a raw copy of the Marnie from Sword uh, Shield uh, so that I can send them all in and get them a sequential order at PSA. And I know that that card that's available for here has like a pretty high chance of getting a PSA because it's in great shape. But let's continue going on. I see some gold, I think. I see some gold. Is it another Mew card? I would love to have another Mew card. No joke. Another Mew would be fantastic. Is it another Mew? No, it's a Vista. Oh, it's a Palkia. Hey, this is a great looking. I don't have this at all. Uh, is this is what from Space Struggler or, or yeah, I think it's a Space Struggler. This is a great one. I don't have this one yet, and I love collecting these gold cards as well, so not too bad, guys. All right, we're coming up on the last one. So this is gonna be last pack magic right here for Marnie. So we're gonna be opening up this way. Let's see what we get. Let's go for Marnie. Marnie, Marnie, Marnie. Give me a thumbs up if everyone wants Marnie to see Marnie. 
Oh no, wrong way. It isn't Marnie. Nope, it's a GX card. Caldea! We got a Caldea full art card from SM10B as well. I think this is what, Tag Team as well. But here we go. There's no Marnie, unfortunately. None of those uh, massive big pulls that we wanted. But you know what, guys? It's been not bad. Like, we've gotten really good cards uh, within this pull for $20 a pull. We got this one. We got the Mew Shiny from Celebrations. We got Arita. We got Zamazenta. We got this amazing looking uh, Rayquaza. We have this one, to be honest, I'm not sure what this is worth at all or what the demand is. And we've got some just great looking cards. So we got about four duds. <laughs> uh, but overall, not bad. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, there's going to be a lot more content coming up as well, of course. If you're new here, please make sure you are subscribed for that so that you know when these when I, I release these videos, probably two a week that I focus on uh, opening and market data. So if you are opening up packs, I hope you have great RNG. Until the next video, everyone, take care and goodbye.